Chemical Attraction, written by Alan J. Field. Interior office, moments later. Kate looks up to see Joanne, who's been nudging her. Snap out of it. Susan's ready. So am I. Interior inter interrogation room, minutes later. Kate walks in and sits down across from Susan. We got off to the wrong foot earlier, and I just wanted to say, I'm very sorry. Sorry I shot Eric, I mean. Interior prep room, continuous. Joanne observes as Gunther appears beside her. What, what the hell is going on? I don't know. Interior interrogation room, continuous. Occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I know that won't bring him back, but I also hope that you'll eventually find it within you to forgive me. Okay. Okay, good. So, I'm just going to ask you straight up, where are they? I'm not telling. Follow me on this. If Eric's death means anything to you, anything at all, then he'd want you to tell me where the TMP release points are. Susan says nothing. Kate looks up at the clock, 5.35 p.m. Fine then, let's talk about Eric, since he meant something to both of us. He, he showed me a part of myself I thought I'd lost a long time ago. I know exactly what you mean. Eric would have wanted you to do the right thing. Just tell me where the toxin release points are. I can't. Abigor never told you where he hid them, did he? No, no he didn't. I'm sorry. Then in about 18 minutes, thousands of people are going to die because of you. I wanted them to pay. All you're worth to me now is what's inside your head. So tell me, what is the formula? You already know it, Agent Carey. How would I know that? All I know is I woke up this morning not knowing who the hell I am. Eric said he told you what it was. Kate holds her breath for a moment, and then... I... That's not possible. You wouldn't have told him what it was. I loved him. He said he told someone he trusted. Just figured it must have been you. I... No. I'm the interrogator. I'm the interrogator! I wouldn't know it. Susan leads forward, eyes piercing. You do. You don't need me. Kate sees the pad of paper, picks up the pen, and starts to bite her lip. No. 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 Wait! Yes. Think hard. You can remember. Interior prep room continuous. Joanne and Gunther are super focused on the exchange. It's working. Interior interrogation room continuous. Kate's also super focused on the blank page and starts to hyperventilate. Wait, wait, I think, I think I remember. That's it. You know it, Agent Carey. Kate fingers Gunther's butane lighter and then places it on the table. She picks up the pen and starts jotting down something on the pad out of view. I think I've almost got it. I just need to ask you something. What? Kate lifts her head and looks across the table. What family do polyethylene and butane share? I, uh, I, uh... Okay, how about nucleotide ratio of boron and potassium after applying Avogardo's number? I, uh... You don't know, do you? You're busted. I never told you my last name. Kate stands up and walks towards the one-way mirror. Interior prep room continuous. Point of view, Joanna Gunther as Susan slash Kate grabs the notepad. I got it. Turns out, I remembered it on my own. Susan slash Kate slams the notepad against the window, showing them a crudely drawn hand with an extended middle finger. In shock, Joanne presses the intercom button, but Gunther pushes her aside. Take her! Gunther runs out of the room first, Joanne following. We've done it your way, now we do it mine. Wait! Interior interrogation room, continuous. Imposter Susan grabs Susan slash Kate's collar from behind, but Kate pulls away, her shirt ripping down her right shoulder, revealing part of a dragon tattoo. Susan slash Kate fights her off, but Abigor slash Gunther and then Joanne enter, guns drawn. You want to die? Then make a move. Susan slash Kate says nothing, but her scowl expresses her failure to consider this development. Susan, you should have listened to me. You could have walked away from this, but you wouldn't follow the rules. Your fake out almost work. Let me guess. Psyops detail? Very good. CIA now. The agency wants your formula without any harm to you. This was the only way to do that. The ball behind Susan slash Kate collapses outward, revealing the hospital room in the first scene, and the two guards slash minions followed by Voss. Susan slash Kate is completely thrown, jaw dropping to the floor. No way. I saw him die in the chamber, and right here at my feet. You certainly did. But how, but how can this same man die twice? We'd hoped his death would jar your memory. It was all <coughs> a lie, every last bit. Not everything, Susan. 
Eric still cares about you. But he's dead. No, I'm not. Susan slash Kate turns around to see Voss remove his false face and hair to reveal Eric. You people are so fucked up. He was part of it from the very start. Eric pulls his gun and points it at Abigail slash Gunther. I was. So you called the Bureau. <laughs> Shagged her once and she's turned you into a traitor, mate. Already was. Working for you. You tell them the chemical compound, you don't walk out of here. Why should I believe anything you say? You broke my trust. You're right. I did it to get you inside, but I tried to protect you from the raid. You're one to talk about trust. You stole a government secret and sold it like goddamn cocaine. You failed your loyalty test a long time ago. And you didn't? You're working with him. Susan slash Kate motions to Gunther. Gunther and I have an arrangement. What do you mean? This evening I'll be selling your secret to the world. And the government will share the profits. Even pay down the federal deficit in the process. Now look who's talking about selling it like it. cocaine. Joanne has no retort for her. Time to do it the old-fashioned way. Meaning? They said at Kandahar you never had the stomach to use the waterboarding treatment. Unfortunately for you, I do. But you're still not an interrogator. Apogor sauce Gunther glances behind him at Eric, whose gun's still drawn, and then reholsters his weapon. I tried. Gunther nods at Joanne, who lowers her weapon. Watch her. Imposter Susan has drawn her weapon and points it at Susan slash Kate at close range, and then starts circling. On your knees, girl. Susan slash Kate complies, and then shuts her eyes, preparing to be executed. Watch her. Imposter Susan notices Susan slash Kate's ripped shirt and the partial view of the dragon tattoo, then presses her glock against it. Hey, check this out. Joanne approaches Kate. Abigail slash Gunther reaches for the hidden gun with his left hand, at a view of Eric, who, along with everyone else, is focused on Susan slash Kate. Hold on. Joanne stoops down as Susan slash Kate opens her eyes. Son of a bitch. We never noticed this. Gunther, it's here. An embedded incision. What are you talking about? She's embedded the compound into this tattoo with ultraviolet ink. I can see the scars. Joanne unsheaths a hidden knife and holds it against Susan slash Kate's neck. You don't start talking right now. I'm gonna slice that tattoo right off your- A gun fires twice as Joanne's head lurches backward and then falls backward. Imposter Susan falls backward, grabbing her neck before they both hit the floor. Abigor slash Gunther turns and fires at Eric, who's already charging at him. Susan slash Kate, now splatter with Joanne's blood, grabs Joanne's Glock and fires at Abigor slash Gunther, grazing his torso, causing him to... causing him to drop his pistol. When she tries to fire again, it clicks. Shit. As Abigor slash Gunther starts to get up, Susan slash Kate plows the interrogation table into him against the wall. Susan slash Kate runs over to Eric, bleeding out. Keep... Code seven two three four nine six seven two three four nine six. Go now. Oh my God! You can still make it up for it. You have a choice. I've always respected you. I believe you. I believe you. I'm done, baby. Run. Make a break for it. Seven two. Three, four... What? No! Eric loses consciousness for good. Interior hallway continuous. Susan slash Kate bolts for the metal door as the final shot from the interrogation room rings out. She punches the six digits on the keyboard on the keypad. The metal door ka-chunks open. Interior stairwell continuous. Susan slash Kate run up the lighted metal staircase to trap door with sunlight streaming through the edges. Susan slash Kate applies pressure as it opens easily. Daylight streams through to show a cloudless blue sky approaching twilight. We hear seagull chirps in the overhead. Exterior oil rig, day. Susan slash Kate steps out of the hole and looks up to see a matrix of pipes and lattice support beams. When she looks level, when she, looks level she sees nothing but clear blue skies on all sides.